Hello Autobots and Decepticons, my name is Soulmonger and I'd like to welcome you back to Transformers Rise of the Dark Spark on the Nintendo 3DS! Yes! Mission 17. Cliffjumper has been taken into custody, but first the Autobots must defeat Bruticus once and for all. So after three episodes of fighting Bruticus, we're finally going to actually fight Bruticus. So let's get this started. Let's go. I'm going to take a sip of my Energon drink. Oh man, that was flat. That tasted like Energon barf. Anyways, battle with Bruticus. Wow. Coagular is all limits to all who oppose Bruticus. What? Permission to shut that thing up, Prime. Easier said than done. Look. That platform Bruticus be up on, I don't know how I would be holding them. But it'd be out of our reach and stuff, Prime. Scrap. Maybe. But check out those generators on the side of the platform. If we can overload those. Looks are always deceiving. Then we can fry the big lug. Brilliant, hound. Autobots, roll out. Autobots, you know what to do. Avoid the Decepticons and get to those generators. All right. Pretty sure we're set up. We have Bumblebee, don't we? Bumblebee doesn't have anything right here, so let's put. What's rewind? Boost intelligence. Okay. I don't know what exactly intelligence does for us in this game, since usually we don't negotiate. We just destroy the Decepticons. But we'll put that in anyways. Prime's intelligence in this game is only five, and that's got to be out of ten. So the leader of the Autobots. Is making commands like, "Dur, attack the Decepticon, dur, 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 dur." Who's got the highest intelligence here? Bumblebee. So shouldn't Bumblebee be the leader if he's the smartest? Logic, guys, logic. All right, so Bruticus is way up there, like they said. We gotta press some buttons. Do you have hack? Can you hack this thing? Always wondered that. No. Okay. You hack this? Nope. All right, let's just drive you. Let's drive you this way. And we're gonna finish with her. Oops, almost end of turn. We're gonna go right here with Hound. We need two Transformers to go up here. Press the little button. And I don't know how to get that off hand. We're gonna take Jazz up here and have him wait. I'm going to be up here and have him wait as well. And Prime, since he moves the shortest distance, we'll have him move up here and wait as well. Booyah. Let's get it going. Yes. Today's the day that we defeat Bruticus. Maybe. Who knows, right? Oh, of course. Of course. Well, I guess we can move out of the way. Should we just have Bumblebee move all the way because he's the smartest? Okay. Move down with Jazz. Down with Prime. Let's go Prime. Alright, so they are fine. Let's see, how far can RC go? She can almost make it to that one. She can go pretty far. I'm going to have her go right here. Have her finish there and bring Hound right here. Nice. And we avoided Bruticus's missile showers. I'm sure they're just gonna keep coming. It's like singing in Bruticus's missile shower. Do 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 Let's punch it. Jeez, the music every time during the battles. They're just like it's like, really, man. Really, really. Right in my ear. Right in my ear. Let's go ahead and take these guys out. And I did take a break from this game. It's been like five to six days since I last played this. So, forgive me if I'm not as good, but it's pretty easy to be good at this game. And that guy's almost dead. This guy's going to fight RC. 
And I'm kind of sad that I'm only halfway done with the game, in all honesty. These are one of these games that are just so repetitive after a while that it's just like, okay, you can be over now and I'd be fine with it. That's why I don't like game companies that make games just to make them long. I mean, make them good. And then, if you want to add some extra missions in at the end, cool. If not, whatever. It was a good experience. It didn't get boring. It didn't get repetitive. And I was happy about it. But n not all companies will do that. Alright, so RC got him to about halfway. We're gonna move her to the button. Use the button. There we go, we got one. And use the button. We got two. Generators critical in three, two, one. Zap! Really? Ah! He's just gonna stand there. He's vulnerable. Take him down. Good thinking. Autobots, you heard the lady. Nice. So let's move with Bumblebee. Since he is the smartest, we're gonna move him the furthest. And Jazz, let's go. And then last but not least, Prime. For some reason, he cannot move at all. It's like they base Prime off of every movie. He always gets to the battle last. Always. Unless he gets there first, then nobody helps him. It's like, come on. Wow. Okay. Alright, let's finish this guy off. At least there's not a lot of peons in my way. Heavy punch? Sure. And one last time. Look at that butt! Now let's use the spin kick. Nice. That a girl, RC. That a girl. And Hound has, what, two points to take off on this guy? I think so. Yep. Oh yeah. Nicely done. We missed the Super Hound. I'm just really impatient now. I just really want to beat Bruticus. So come on. Let's go. Do we have to go up there? We do. Can Jazz make it up there to use that button? We cannot. Bumblebee? Oh my gosh, she's so close. Nope, he can't. Okay. Hold on, I'm going to move Prime out of the way first. Just to make sure. Okay, so Prime... Prime can actually go up here. We'll move Prime up here to use the button. And we will move Bumblebee over here to get this thing. And then we will move J Oops. We're going to move Jazz right here. We're going to finish with him. We're going to pick up the Energon and we're just going to take the missile. Bruticus doesn't do that much damage. At least I don't think so. Let's go RC. We'll let her pick up the item over there. Then we'll move Howl since he doesn't move as far as RC does. Alright, so that only took off 17. I didn't think it was going to take off that much. You're going to fight Optimus? <laughs> yeah, that's smart. Let's go Prime! Punch, critical hit, nice. Critical with Prime should take him out all the way. It's kind of a bummer. Heavy punch. Ooh yeah. One more hit. We got the uppercut available. And he misses Prime. Ha ha ha. Starstruck. He's like, Mr. Prime, can I get your out? Oh. He missed him. He didn't even really want to fight Prime. Prime just started throwing fists. He just wanted his autograph. Alright, perfect. So we can press this button. Wow, we can't even press the button yet? Really? Alright, can we with you? No. Oh, it's okay. We have to get to this button anyways. Okay, let's move him up here. And we're gonna move Jazz over here. 
And we're gonna move you right here, Prime. And we're not gonna move you right there, we're gonna move you right here. Range attack. Nice. It does a lot of damage, and I don't have to watch the animations. And RC, you can pick this up, girl. Nano Deflector. What is this? Energon Mine. Do you have hack? What do you have? You have hack as well. We might as well hack with these guys when we can. Nice. Okay, enemy turn. Booyah. This is going to take forever. Oh, actually, he's almost dead. I'll pick up a lot on him. All right, let's go. Bumblebee. 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 Yeah. He's ready. With his intelligence being so high, you should outsmart this guy. Well, I guess we're just going to go metal to metal. Fist to fist. Autobot versus Decepticon recruit. Always fair. We should have lunch. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And this should take him out. Nope. Close though. Nicely done. Alright, let's go, Jazz. Last him with Megatron. I swear the developers did not realize that that was Megatron from G1. They're just like, yeah, just let the Autobots use that gun. What? What? I guess that's what kind of happens when you just like give the game to a company that doesn't know much about Transformers and they're just like, make us a movie game quick on the 3DS, go! You got six months! I suppose those mistakes happen. They did a pretty good job though, I would say. They didn't have as much pieces to work with as the console version. Let's use the heavy punch, hopefully this takes them out right away. Nope. I imagine they had to redesign all this stuff themselves, like all the characters they had to build on the 3DS engine, whatever they used to make games with. A small but decisive victory. Yes, a small but decisive victory. Prime, let's get that button. Let's get that button, Prime. Booyah. And Bumblebee, let's get this button, Bumblebee. Booyah. Oh yeah! Get some Bruticus. Get zapped, bro. You guys, let's get some hacks. Sixty-seven percent. RC can finish it. Hundred percent hacked. Real nice. And we have Jazz. Can he get to the next button? can almost. Let's go ahead and drive there with him. And he is the only one out of the missile range. Oh, how does that kill him with one? Did he really only have one hit point left? Oh, you want to do this? You want to do this? Alright, let's do this. Booyah! Oh, come on! Really? Alright. Booyah that time, for real. Nicely done, Bumblebee. Gold bug for the win. Really? Jazz, like, whoa! Where'd you come from? Alright, I'm not even gonna bother moving those two. I suppose I could pick this up next turn. And Jazz. Use this. Perfect. Prime. Whoops. Wow, it's going to take forever for you to get there, Prime. I think Bumblebee will make it there quicker. End turn.
Oh, nice. Bruticus' missile range. He uh, missed a little corner there. Jazz is sneaky enough to get in there and hit that button. Good punch. Coming in hot. Booyah. Nice done, Jazz. And single fire will do. Bam. And that's how you do it. All right, we're gonna move you guys out of the way. Because RC is pretty low. So this should be the end of Bruticus here, I would guess. Grab that with Bumblebee. And Jazz. What? I can't move there? Seriously? Alright, we're gonna move here with Jazz just in case. Move out of the way with Prime. Should be good to go next turn then. Well, actually it's gonna take two turns. Are they gonna fight Prime? Really? We got charge shot and pistol whip. Let's give him the charge shot. Booyah! Down you go, Decepticon. I take no satisfaction from this. I do, I take lots of satisfaction. We just destroyed Decepticon, yeah! Nice! Alright, Jazz. Get that button. Wait, what? Oh, we already used that? Okay. Did not realize that. Or I just forgot about it completely. Prime up here, just in case some Decepticons spawn. And I don't think it matters for Bumblebee. We'll move him over here anyways. And turn. Oh, Bruticus, your attempt is in vain. Prime? Of course, being the leader, he gets to press a button. <laughs> Booyah! No encore for you, Bruticus. I can't believe we took him down. Complain, 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 hound you little girl. Watch your backs. No time for rest, Autobots. Cliff Jumper still needs us, and the Dark Spark is nearly in Megatron's hands. Let's go. Mission success, booyah! And then the missiles rain down, and our sea gets pummeled. I think she was almost dead. We'll just pretend that doesn't happen. So we got move slot unlocked. I don't know what that does, but that sounds nice. And we also got wind charger. Booyah. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I will see you guys all next time with mission 18 as we go back to the Decepticon side. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And have a good day, everyone. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe for more. Also, click the screen for more awesome videos over at Bro Bras. Have a great day.